Now that you've installed the MailChimp for Salesforce app, uh, this is how you connect your MailChimp account to that. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go out and uh, go to MailChimp for Salesforce. Uh, what that's going to do is to bring up um, this screen and you want to go to uh, the MailChimp setup and you pick up this one and there are three steps to the process. Uh, first is, is logging in, which they call authenticating. Uh, then you're going to talk about how you want to create leads and then map fields. There are some great resources, uh, you know, click through what they offer. Uh, you know, the first is, uh, is a discussion about kind of MailChimp and what it does and what it doesn't do. Uh, the second one is a, an installation guide that does a nice job of kind of t telling you exactly kind of what I'm showing you. So it's, it's, worth, uh, it's worth reading both of them so you have a sense of what's going on. So what I'm doing is clicking Login. Uh, and it says, basically, do you want to do this? And you say yes. Because I'm already logged in uh, to MailChimp, uh, it knows who I am, or at least on the system. So I'm going to click Log In. Uh, it's then going to say, oh, we're going to do a two-factor for you. So I'm going to send a verification code. And they texted me a, 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 va a verification code. So I'm going to log in from here. The decision you have to make at this point is whether or not to allow MailChimp to create leads in Salesforce from uh, dur especially during the creation process. And uh, there's some, some helpful text here to kind of work through. You can also work through the notes. Uh, the, the key question is, is whether or not there are assignment rules, which means kind of leads are automatically assigned to specific people or uh, you've got uh, auto responses or, or triggers based on record types, um, some interesting kind of rules to kind of think about. You know, talk to somebody if you have any questions. You know, the easy thing to do, though, is at this point you can say, you know what, I'm going to opt out and come back later, and I'll show you what that looks like here. So I'm clicking come back, and it says, okay, uh, your spot has been saved feel free to navigate elsewhere. So we're going to call that a stop for this pass, and then I'll, I'll show you the, uh, the mapping process in the next video.